And now, the driver of the Congress. <laughs> Sergio Nick, who represents also an extraordinary program committee. I can assure the interchange among them, the working through, the hard work they gave is astonishing. They worked uh, accurately and intensively for a long, long time, uh, taking care of all details and uh, of all difficult situations that, of course, such a big Congress implies. Sergio, please. Good afternoon. It's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm very excited to participate with you at this Congress. And I would like to start thanking Stefano Bolognini, Alexandra Billinghus, Juan Carlos Weisman, and all IPA boards for the honor to give me this place. It's what really an honor. Let me then talk about the Congress. Uh, okay. First of all, welcome to Boston to, to discuss the shape and use of psychoanalytic tools today. You will be patient, please, because we, I have to manage the text and the slides too, okay? The tools and theories we use to attend those who seek psychoanalytic treatment are one of the focuses of this Congress. How have we developed? Have we more to offer today than 50 or 100 years ago? How have new technologies and other social changes influenced our practice? And how are we answering these various challenges? What are the further developments in technique, and how do we deal with the impact of technology, culture, and high mobility in our practice? The clinical and theoretical presentations at this Congress will show how each analyst works through and thinks about these changes. Well, the response to the call for proposals was overwhelming. And we, we thank everyone who was already contributed to, the, the, to this Congress and those who will participate here. Alexander Billinghus, Claudia Borenstein, Dieter Bergen, Harriet Bessages, Marco Posadas, and I composed the Boston Congress Program Committee. And this photo was before Marcos, the snowstorm arrived. <laughs> we do it, we have designed this Congress with the help of the IPA president, Stefano Bolognini, the IPA treasurer, Juan Carlos Weisman, and the local arrangements committee, composed by Fred Bush, Bernard Edelstein, and Lewis Kirchner, as well as the Broomhill staff. We truly hope you will embrace the opportunities this Congress offers. Moreover, this book, it's really a book, isn't it? It's, it's really heavy. <laughs> we have designed two new activities for this Congress. The Boston groups, already explained by Alexander Billinghurst, and the clinical exercises, coordinated by Annette Blayaluz. We have had one clinical exercise in Prag Congress, but this time we dedicated to prepare six different clinical exercises in English and Spanish with adults, adolescents, and child cases. No one other than the chair knows the clinical material in advance. Thus, the commentators will approach the case as if they were in their own consulting rooms. I hope you will enjoy the activity. As in every IPA Congress, we will have many different activities. I would like then to invite you to take a tour at the printed program to understand better what we have prepared. Well, please understand 
that the more accurate schedule is in the timetable section of this book, from page 22 to 70. We are constantly inserting late changes at the board, and you can find it at the online program with all changes. We really insist you have a look at it to ensure your chosen activity is, the, is at the right place and time. I may say uh, we have made 350 changes to this book, and they still have errors. I'm sorry about that. Well, at the first slot, from 7.45 to 8.45 a.m., you can attend either clinical individual presentations, individual paper presentations, sorry, or courses and workshops. It is a great opportunity to learn about a specific topic or to know a colleague's paper from all over the world. At nine, the two major panels where the keynote speakers will present their papers and two discussions will follow it. A time for discussion with the, with the plenary will follow. At 11 o'clock, both the chair and the discussant of each keynote speaker panel, as well, uh, as well by some specially invited colleagues, will chair post-panel discussion groups. Please choose one of the post-panel discussion groups related to the keynote speaker you prefer. Some of the keynote speakers will circulate between these groups answering questions about their papers. I'm sorry about that. I'm lost here. <laughs> okay. At the same time, the Boston groups will meet face to face for the first time. If you are at one of the 20 Boston groups, please go to the room assigned to your group. The facilitator name is at the printed program to ease the search for the, your assigned room. The special group program for residents, graduate students, and early career psychotherapists will hold its discussion groups at this time too. At lunchtime, excuse me, we want to have you enjoy the campus-like atmosphere of the Boston Congress venue. There are plenty of space to meet, to have lunch, and just sit down and talk together. The panels, the small discussion groups, the clinical exercises, the interdisciplinary panels, the large groups, and the meeting author and analyst sessions will be held at the two first afternoon slots from 2 to 3.30 p.m. and 4 to 5.30 p.m. There you will find plenty of different, dif different theoretical and clinical perspectives based on the presentation of clinical material or controversial themes on, in the field. The last afternoon slot from 5.45 to 7.30 p.m., some extended until 8.30 p.m., will held individual paper presentations and film discussions. Do not hesitate to contact the several attendees that will be at the venues to ease access to the rooms. However, let me first explain how difficult it was to prepare this huge and complex program. It was almost impossible to accommodate so many activities at, at this Congress program. On the other hand, following recent experiences that favors small dis groups discussions, we planned to have interregional groups presenting and discussing ideas at an intimate session setting. This is why you will find so many activities and so many different aspects of our field. This Congress is devoted to discuss technique and, we, and how we have developed to reach the 21st century with the highest and most accurate tools to attend the many challenges we face at our work. 
the development psychoanalysis had undergone at the last year's support the effort IPA does to build up a biannual congress. It is by traveling all over the world that we are able to cross-fertilize one's mind and ideas. Well, you may probably get lost on all these venues and activities. Please, please look at this virtual tour to acknowledge better the venues. This is also at the end of this nice book. First, you can see we have four venues, all at walking distance from each other. We have managed to give a break time large enough to allow you to circulate between these spaces. Therefore, we have four venues here, the World Trade Center, the Seaport Hotel, the Renaissance Hotel, and the West Hin Hotel. A nice and easy access avenue links the World Trade Center to the Seaport, the West Inn, and the Renaissance. You do not need to cross the street to go to the World Trade Center. There is a bridge over the street with a very nice harbor view. In addition, here you can find the venues rooms. The World Trade Center has three different levels. The plaza with the city view ballroom, north end, south end, Dartmouth, harbor view ballroom. Then the mezzanine with the back bay complex, the federal complex, the congress board room, Washington and Tremont. And lastly, the harbor level with the waterfront ballroom, the Cambridge complex, and the Beacon Hill complex, and the Commonwealth Hall where we are now. Then you have the seaport hotel rooms. The <coughs> is split into two levels. Plaza with the lighthouse one and the plaza ballroom, which is the bigger one at the seaport, and the mezzanine with lighthouse, flagship, seaport and liberty and constitution. Oops. The Westin Hotel has six rooms, split in the lobby with two rooms, Spain and River, and the mezzanine level. Just enter the hotel and go straight to your right to find your room there. Finally, the Renaissance hotel rooms are all at the fourth level. At your way to the Renaissance, please enjoy the nice garden between the seaport and this hotel. We are very proud of the program we have put together, and we are excited to see the clinical and theoretical presentations, the workshops, and the working groups. Last but not least, I want to thank all Broom Hill staff for the huge work done. We all want to send our thanks to Steve Tierman, Paul, Paul Craig, Simon Shuttler, Karina Gutierrez, Mike Talley, Roda Baudacar, Stephen Edwards, Christina Gregorio, and Viviana Bolanat. We do hope you enjoy the Congress and the fantastic city of Boston. The program committee welcomes you warmly. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sergio. And now 